as you guys know, I make a lot of Bosnian Yugoslav content. It's one of the topics or one of the playlists on this channel. One of the things that keep coming keeps coming back in the comment section is things regarding the Yugoslav army. Today I found uh, an interesting video, a hell march of the Yugoslav's army, former Yugoslav's army. One of the things which is really interesting, which also will come back in the video where I'm going to explain why Yugoslavia had to fall regarding to US and EU plans to say so. Um, is the fact that it was the third largest army in the center of Europe. It still was, at the time, quite a communist country. I say communist regarding to Yugoslavia since there was a lot of freedom. You can see that that's an, a, a big issue for Western countries, especially just after the Cold War. So uh, let's take a look on this army. The music is uh, a bit you know, aggressive, so I'm gonna tone that a bit down. And uh, let's see what, uh, what comes out of this. Belgrade, Serbia, where every year there is a there was a march of the Yugoslav army showing off its power, and it was a big, big army and a big event. At the time, Yugoslavia produced their own tanks, their own uh, armored personnel carriers, their own weaponry, which got sold around the entire world, still gets used in Afghanistan, Iraq. Um, all those armies were equipped with Yugoslav war equipment, well, partially Yugoslav war equipment. Um, and as you can see, because they produce that stuff, they have the most modern tanks and the most modern equipment at the time, or had. It's just kind of, I don't know, um, some things that people don't know, Yugoslavia or the Balkans in general, but f especially former Yugoslav countries, had such a resistance group, especially with the partisans led by Tito, who was the president at the time, or who became the president. The German army had to keep 100,000 plus troops stationed in the Balkans because they were constantly being attacked by uh, resistance groups. People don't understand how, how, how fierce the people in the former Yugoslav countries can be to protect what is theirs. And I think the 90s war shows how bloody they can get and how far they're willing to go when it comes to protecting what is theirs or when it comes to just in general warfare. Fun fact as well is that military service was mandatory at the time, so um, every single person, um, uh, even women, so not only men, but also women had certain um, mandatory military services that they had to do once they turned 18. Um, every single person in the country was capable of picking up a rifle, um, using it and, uh, well, fighting as being a soldier, maybe not the highest standard, but every single person was capable of, uh, of actually going to war. So imagine trying to evade a, a country at the time, which had an army of over 1 million active soldiers and personnel and have the rest of the population being able to pick up a gun as well. So as additional reserves to say so.
some Russian tanks as well as I can see. By the way, this is just for demonstration and for show purposes. They didn't have cavalry um, after, uh, well, in, within the Yugoslav army. This is just a show thing, you know, history wise, yada, yada, yada. These are really some older footages of the army as I can, well, as you can tell as well. I hope there's some new stuff in it as well. Oh yeah, the navy was pretty big as well for such a country. So imagine you, Croatia, Montenegro were all part of, of, of um, the, well, and Slovenia were all part of Yugoslavia. So that covers a large part of the Adriatic Sea. So they had a quite big navy. Oh yeah, um, Bosnia still produces and um, uh, Yugoslavia at the time still produced one of the best artillery, um, weaponry, stationary, but also mobile artillery guns, uh, which are still sold till this day. force was quite big and there was a lot of investment going on just before the war started in, in, in airfields and mix in the newest MiG, MiG models of combat airplanes. Whoa, um, whoa, I could make a video on this as well. This, as you can see, is it looks like a tunnel with an airplane being pulled. And this is very near to my house. It is the largest underground air base ever built and is a complete secret. They had like doors in a mountain, so it was capable of resisting nuclear attacks. It had an entire bunker infrastructure. Um, people could live there in case of nuclear attacks. There was a whole operating system, everything within a mountain. Doors in the figure of the airplane. So really in, in, in that size, those airplanes would basically just take off from within the mountain. So you just have doors going up, nuclear doors going up. And then there is this shape for an airplane that was on the, on the border with Croatia, um, Bosnia. So it's, it's really in, in the Western part of Bosnia to say so. It's one of the latest projects and it costs, I don't know, something, a couple of billion dollars, like literally so much money, like the, one of the biggest investments ever done by the Yugoslav, um, army house. Um, I think it was 40 or 60 airplanes, battle planes in a mountain and something like 400 personnel and maintenance, everything was self-sustainable. Now it's completely destroyed a mind. It's the first thing the Croatians and Serbians and well, all the parties did to this area. So nobody could use it, of course, and steal more. Um, a lot of this has collapsed because of the, they didn't do the maintenance, um, but, and everything is heavily mined surrounding the area, but it has landing strips, like four or five of them, uh, in the surrounding area and everyone was all the people surrounding this project all the villages were all bought up and the people were told to move uh, so it was all built in secret for people who are interested in in this thing um in this project it's called uh, this base is called Zeljava and look that up and um 
maybe do some research before uh, before I make a video on it because I, I now I, that I see it I'm like wow I could make a video on this oh there you go now you can see the um, as you can see on this this part here is the door that opens where they go into the mountain and outside of the mountain and there's landing strips and everything is covered in trees and everything so it's really well camouflaged <laughs> Tito saying we're doing all of this to prevent any pressure on Yugoslavia after me because who's going to attack a country with such a big force? Yeah, well, Tito, if you still lived, you wouldn't believe it, man. They didn't destroy us from the outside, destroyed us from within, because that was the only way to destroy us. Yugoslavia has a trust in this, without the more nationality. Yugoslavia has today, more than ever, in Europe, Exactly. Imagine they can put out if they want eight million people on the battlefield. That's a lot. Um, imagine that the current Russian army includes, I think it was one point something million uh, active personnel. So a country so much smaller already at this time had also one million active personnel, but could put an additional seven million people on the battlefield ready to fight with training. So it's not we're giving a civilian a gun. No, they all went through military training. Exactly. Especially Yugoslav people who've, who've, well, were used or have a routine for wars throughout history. And experience is something you can't get in training. Real war experience. And that was it. It, um, I don't know. Um, it just, all these videos just hurt. It hurts to see that at that time the country of Yugoslavia was further and more well developed than any of its countries today we just went back in time with those wars and we went back very very far and that's something that really hurts yeah I hope you guys like this uh, video on the Yugoslavs um, uh, well army former Yugoslav army the hell march and some of the images you've seen you can check out all the hell marches from back then there's multiple videos online if you just type in uh, Yugoslav army march you will find the images the entire march actually it's one hour and 50 minutes I think it is uh, with the well with the large part of the Yugoslav army showing its tanks and um, uh, well equipment and the jets flying over like the usual stuff. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because 80% of you guys watching are not subscribed and I really want to make this channel grow and it's not gonna work when people are not subscribing. So um, leave a like, subscribe. Small effort helps me out a lot and I see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Perfect.